on one of those honor flights to Washington out of Knoxville. And uh, when we got back to the airport, there must have been a thousand people there. And all of us were running the gauntlet, and all of us crying. Some, some, Some little old lady came up, pulled a Kleenex out of her sleeve. She says, you're, you're leaking. I said, yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm leaking. And she, says, she says, are you excited? I said, yes, ma'am, this is a welcome that we didn't have 50 years ago. So I make it a point now, anytime I see somebody in uniform, I thank them. Because I never I never had that. That was our ticker tape parade. And uh, I, I, I'm sorry. That, that's all of those people at the airport. They were all the way through the airport and light, line turned and went around and came back up. It took us a half an hour to go through and shake hands with everybody. And little kids who were not even born then. And older, older people, older farts than I am, And we were all just crying. And uh, so, and somebody asked me, well, would you, would you go back and do it all over again? Yeah, tomorrow. I could remember how to start the damn helicopter. Uh, but yeah, I'd do it all over. Because that's the most important thing that I'd ever done in my life before or since. Uh, you had a purpose, and that was your job. And of the, of the gunship pilots, I never lost a man, not one. Uh, we all took care of each other, and, and, but we took care of the lurks. Those are, they were closer than family. Uh -huh. So they've been trying for two years to get this, uh, get this decoration Silver Star upgraded. And, uh, so uh, in, in the hopes that they do, uh, uh, I got a set of blues and, uh, uh, and I'm ready. And uh, if it doesn't come to fruition, uh, then I've got a nice new suit to be buried in.